Hello and welcome to Shed TV, my name is Keith and today is the second part of the Circe Nihilus 8mm uh, Cine Projector um, saga. Um, if you uh, watched the first part you might remember that uh, it was missing a mains lead uh, and I managed to manufacture one uh, but when it came to testing the projector uh, I couldn't get it to work. So today I'm going to take the cover off, take the bottom off and uh, have a look inside see if I can work out what the, uh, what the issue is. So let's briefly recap. Uh, last time I made this uh, connector up uh, using um, the insides out of a, a shaver cable extension or a European two pin uh, extension and the exterior from um, a 10 amp cable joiner. That all seems fine. Um, I tested the um, projector and nothing happened. Uh, and I then went on to test the various parts of the machine using um, a 240 volt uh, volt stick. Now of course I realised soon afterwards that it was never going to show up any voltage because uh, from somewhere here onwards um, this is all I think 28 volts. Um, 28 volt lamp and motor. Um, I'll take the lamp out and then perhaps we can just confirm that voltage. I'm sure it says on it. Oh no, 8 volts. Um, what voltage the motor is, I don't know, maybe it says on the bottom of the unit. It says motor 110 volts, 40 watts, lamp 8 volts, 50 watts. And then underneath it says transformer 100 watts. And there's also a selector switch. Uh -oh. I wonder if that is our problem because it can be set to 240, um, 220, so I'm struggling to see this, and 200, 160, 120, and for America, 110. So I wonder if in the zero position it switched off. Let's find out. I've got this plugged into a 13 amp socket down here. I'm going to switch this to 240 volts, which is approximately the voltage here. And I'm going to pop that in. Turn it back onto its feet. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Oh! Wow. The motor's turning. See that? That's the mechanism moving. I'm going to turn it round to motor and lamp, I assume it means ML now. Oh my goodness me, it works! Well, it does that. <laughs> what a result! Ooh, smells a bit funky. I suspect that might be the dust burning off. Well, I never. Spindle is turning at the bottom. I wonder what this other knob does. Oh, it's a speed controller. That's virtually stopped. Want a bit of switch cleaner in there, perhaps. Oh, this is brilliant. Well, um, in that case, I need to rig some sort of test screen and uh, get a bit of film out. Well, this is quite exciting. Well, I'm, I'm quite excited by it. Um, I do have some film. Here it is. Um, I've got absolutely no idea what's on this film. Uh, I bought it on eBay for a couple of pounds, and um, uh, it was described as home movie. Uh, unknown. I think it's black and white. Um, no clues as to what might be on it. Um, 
So, assuming I can work out how to put it into the projector, uh, we'll have a look. Uh, I've also got this empty uh, 8mm reel, which I also bought. I actually pack, I had to pay more for that than I did for that, um, that roll of film, bizarrely. It seems quite difficult to get hold of. Um, so, uh, I'm going to switch this off and, there we go, and uh, see if I can work out how to put the film in. The only experience I have of film projectors of any kind uh, goes back about 25 years when I worked in a theatre that had um, a 35mm um, cinema projector in it and uh, I used to uh, splice the film and look after running the projector on occasion um, but that was 25 years ago and that stood uh, two and a half metres high and the film by the time I'd stuck all the parts together took two of us to lift onto it um, I can't remember how you lace the machine up or if there are any similarities between that and this so um, really I'm starting from scratch. I'm putting the empty spool onto this bottom spindle which is the motorised one. Um, when the motor's running it goes in this direction so I'm assuming the film is drawn through, through here like this through the gate through here and then out onto the empty spool. Here's the film. On the outside edge of the film there's a row of holes and on the outside edge of here there's a sprocket with teeth so it must go that way. <laughs> I'm sorry this was a steep learning curve didn't I? So that I assume goes into... Oh. Ah! It's all falling off. Yeah, this is a lesson how not to do it, clearly. What's going on? <laughs> I should edit this bit out. Oh, stop it, you... Oh, I see. So the film obviously goes. Oh, yeah, in there. Oh, that pulls forward. It then goes through here somehow. Just um... pull that back there. I don't know really. And that must go through here. One thing I do remember from the cinema days was that you needed to leave a little bit of slack either side of the gate, but how much I don't know. So you push that into there, I assume. And then just wind it on. Um, okay, do I switch it on? Well, okay, let's uh, let's point it at the wall and see what happens. Oh, here we go. Okay, turn the lights out. Oh, it's someone launching a ship. Now oh, look at this. So I've just taken the film out again um, and relaced it. Um, so that I can start again from the beginning. And what I've done is I've turned the, oh, I can't quite see it, there, there it is, the speed controller right down. So that when I start it, start it up, I can make sure it's all working before it gets to the actual film. Um, now I'm going to take it downstairs where I've got a bit more room and point it at the wall. 
We've got a projector set up in the dining room. Uh, so let's see what it looks like a bit bigger. Let's get it into focus. A lot of dirt in the gate. Have to give that a clean out. Looks like uh, I don't know, early 1960s maybe. I've no idea where it is. Well, I'm not going to show the whole of the rest of this film. Um, now that I've got the projector running, I think the next thing that I'm going to do uh, is uh, take it apart, uh, give it a good old clean out, and uh, hopefully I can uh, get rid of some of this um, messy edge that you can see in the gate there, and uh, get it all working a whole lot better. So uh, uh, if you've enjoyed this one, why don't you join me in part three, and we'll have a look at, um, at doing just that. Uh, please leave a comment, please subscribe if you haven't already, and give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.